one of the things that Fetty wanted to do when he came aboard Evil Dead is he wanted to do the prosthetic gags, the arm chops off, the eye gouges. He wanted to do those practically on set using old fashioned makeup appliances like we did on Evil Dead and a kind of a throwback to a different era. And I instantly respected that. This is such a uh, visceral and simple story in a way, right? And the way that is grounded in there, five guys in a cabin, there's some beauty about that and something that everybody understands right away. It's just five people in the cabin. And, and that's so simple that, that I guess I didn't want to bring any CGI to the stories. It was something that we knew they wanted to do since the get-go in this movie, that they wanted to do everything practical, you know? I didn't want to do any CG thing to, to get a gore and scare more. So in every big horror set piece and very painful moment, everything is practical because nothing beats, you know, practical. That was a great thing because in the beginning when I said, this is the way we're gonna do it, they were all like, what? How are we gonna do that? Well, initially when I got, uh, when I initially heard about the job, I got a bit of a breakdown on, what do you think about this? So there was all these little beats of, you know, she gets her arm chopped off, you know, she <laughs> blows him over the shotgun, and um, I sort of got an idea of the size of it, which was great because I think it, it harks back to what the initial Evil Dead was all about, and that's what we wanted to bring into it. So the transitions that each of the characters have to go through is built on, on makeup effects, basically. So and different rigs, people cut their arms off, there's a blood gore factor. We, we wanted to keep it realistic also and grounded, so whatever they have in their faces, and, and they're all, it all comes from something that they did to themselves, so that's why the first stage of, on the possession in each one, for each one of them is, is kind of some kind of self-mutilation moment. Olivia's gonna carve her face off, um, Mia burn herself with boiling water, they all do something that that's the result of how, why they look creepy. And, uh, and the eyes is the only element that comes from hell, I guess, because it's the only thing that really changed in a supernatural way. But the rest is just like real wounds they, they inflict to themselves. Stop! Well, from the very beginning, Betty has always said he wants this to feel real. Yes, we're creating a supernatural tale, but we want for the audience, in order for them to be scared, it needs to feel real to them. That's been kind of our approach for, for all these set pieces, uh, is how much can we capture in camera, how much can we use uh, prosthetics um, on the actors to create the, the blood gags or the, the makeup effects. When you have it in camera, you know you've got it. We're trying to keep it as realistic and, and sort of as contained as possible, which brings up a lot of, you know, there's a lot of variables when we're shooting. So a lot of that's um, got to do with how we shoot it, how we light it, how the rigs are made, and we've made, had to make a lot of individual rigs just for specific shots. I'm very proud of a couple of things on that side. When, I, when Natalie cut her arm off, like we really we find a very creative way to do it, all practical and prosthetic. So in the script, if somebody standing there grabs a kitchen knife, her arm is here and she goes for it and starts cutting it right in front of you with no cuts. There's just one long take that goes. And usually in a normal movie, we'll, we'll cut away, you will do some kind of trick. And we, know we, we knew we, we didn't want to do it that way. And, and we want to go just one shot, long shot, see the real arm there and see how she goes for it. So, and that's the shot that done in the movie. And I think it's one of the best shots in the movie is when, when she really cut her arm off out of nowhere. She put the, 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 the knife on her arm and it's just disturbing. Initially, we started uh, with the idea that we'd, you know, explore what we could do with um, a silicon arm and actually joining up two people and, and trying to get the performance uh, out of um, out of Elizabeth and conjoined basically with an arm to uh, her double, who's got the infected arm on. So the idea here is so that we can get uh, as much of the blood and all the gore and the cutting and everything 
in camera and on their clothes and, and all over her arm and the effect and all the rest of it and all the sort of sensation as much as possible in the rig. We've got five different arm prosthetics for her. We've got one where she, her arm drops off um, and then we've also got ones which are uh, pieces that we're going to be helped with with visual effects to show that she hasn't got an arm after she's cut it off. So yeah, Elizabeth goes, goes through it all and then also her arm gets infected in five different stages. Uh, she gets her arm blown off so we've made fake arms. Um, yeah, she has, a lot, she has a lot going on. The prosthetics and the rigs and everything are just kind of mind-blowingly <laughs> amazing. I love that Fede's trying to do everything here with prosthetics and with the rigs and not with CGI. It just makes it so much, I mean, for us, it makes it so much easier from an acting point of view when you're actually, like, chopping off an arm rather than just pretending with no blade and all that stuff. I mean, it's cool. And there's been blood everywhere and vomit everywhere. And it's it's just, it adds so much, I think, because it's not this CGI sort of blood splatter and you, you're like, oh, it's fake. It, it just gives it such a rawness on screen that's really cool to see. Like, I love that Fede in no way is relying on CGI. There's a lot of like old school movie tricks that that Fede uses, and I and I love it. We bring a team of choreographers in to help them to find interesting movement. The dead eyes just like you see, the, the half of them is the person suffering, trying to avoid doing whatever they're forcing them to do, and um, and half of them is piece of demon that is controlled. But the end is full demon. We're trying to come up with abnormal yeah, movement, something that you look at it, and, and sometimes they're very simple and they're very small, but it's just a movement of the head and eye doing something, like a little twitch, that, but reads so powerful on camera. And, and also it, try, it helps to keep it in a more realistic level, I guess, and that's really what, what turns them into such horrific creatures, you know, like you see something that you don't understand, why they're behaving like that, why they're doing that, and that's what takes them to another level, I guess. You see in the movie, it's really real stuff coming out from her mouth, it's really Jane's mouth, it's real stuff that's going there, and so it was pretty violent, pretty violent for them too, because we put the actor through all those tubes and stuff and <laughs> that's pretty tricky. That, the throw up, throwing up on Olivia was my least favorite thing I've done in my life, <laughs> I think. I hated doing that and it made me cry actually, like after I did it I walked off and I just felt like I was going to hell for real because I had done something so horrible. Um, what happened to you? I can't even tell you what that feels like. <laughs> just also just watch Jessica like almost drown is like the scariest thing in the world. Are you okay? So how you felt? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very intense process for them. But they also they get to experience a lot of things that in a regular mood they wouldn't. So I think that's why I also like it. It's, it's, that's why I think it's a lot of fun for them too, very right? So it's, it's a lot of pain, but it's a lot of fun. I've never had to do a head cast, and I actually was quite apprehensive going in because um, I hear that people who are claustrophobic can be pretty intense. And um, it was it was kind of freaky, though. I mean, you get covered in this this goop, and um, there's just a tiny little air hole for your nose, and it's about a 45 minute process altogether. And then they kind of crack it and take it off, and you're left with this this mold of your entire head. <laughs> Ooh. We took a full head impression of her um, so that we could take uh, different aspects of her face and, and, and break them out, snap them out as we call them, and actually make formers so that we could do the sculpting for the, for the prosthetics. For Jessica, uh, the main component of the prosthetic was um, getting her to cut her face off and make it convincing so it wasn't uh, 
wasn't too much like a mask. Are you okay? The fact that we just get to get in there and just be covered in blood and have these prosthetics and, and, and go crazy and, and these great stunts as well. And I think that the more that you can actually physically do things, the better it is. Fuck, did I actually get you? No, but it felt like you did. <laughs> I really would have hated if all the blood or all, you know, cutting someone's arm off and everything, if that was all CGI, I, it would have taken so much out of it for me to watch, not even to just act. The acting is easier, and I think it's, it's more disgusting to watch. There's just something that you can get from a texture that you can't get from CGI, from a real texture of something rubber or flesh-like that you can't get from CGI. Uh... Can we have that blood standing by here, right next to me? Sure, thanks. Oh, yeah. I got to kill Olivia tomorrow. Ah, uh, what a day. I got to kill her tomorrow, and I got to kill her on Monday. It's terrible. <laughs> me, all the word of, uh, of the pose and the effects, it's just like a magician that's going to do a trick. So you, you shouldn't know if we're going to use effects or not. Like, you have to watch the movie, forget about that. And the good effects are the ones that you never see.